Oh no. Hello all my fishy friends and welcome back to another Stay Fishy Adventure. Today we're going to break a stigma. People always say you can't catch them sitting on the couch and I am going to break that theory here today. Me and Little are headed to my special lady friend's house and it just so happens this house is floating right on top of the water. So with that being said, I'm going to sit on the couch all day and catch a fish from the couch. I got a really cool recipe in store. It's going to be a very fun and entertaining day so stick around. I can't wait. Let's go do it. Ah, the great indoors. All right, so I'm not gonna give away what I'm actually gonna be fishing for today, but if you have any guesses, let's see it in the comments below. But this is my bait that I'm using. Some squid, I have some herring, and then I also have these little things called sand shrimp, and these things will work really good too. Little creepy crawlies, wiggling around. So, this is how I'm gonna rig this up. It's gonna take a little bit of stretchy string, a big barbless hook, and a bunch of stinky bait. Bombs away. Nothing wrong with a little brunch, Saki. Cheers. So on today's menu, everybody, we're doing my quintessential shark coochie board. This is a very trendy thing lately, so I thought I'd put a fun little spin on it. And we got a bunch of different ingredients here that are my favorite. And a couple of them are something that you guys will see throughout these different episodes and me that I'm gonna be processing as we catch different fish and different species and need to find different ways to cook them. So what we have on the shark coochie today, we have my famous smoked salmon. We have some of my pickled sturgeon, which if you guys want to see the video where I actually pickled this stuff, go on to our, our other channel, Addicted Fishing, and check out the video where we go sturgeon fishing down in Astoria, Oregon. And I took it home and I actually pickled it, and it's an incredible recipe, and it's very, very tasty. So this is going to go very nice on our shark coochie board. We got some, some pitted Sicilian style olives, and these are delicious. These are a new one for me. These are mandarin olives. They're nice and spicy. Or tangerine olives, excuse me. They're nice and spicy. Those are going to go really nice with a couple of those different pieces of, of uh, canned fish. And I got some pickles, of course, some little mini pickles. We got some herbed almonds. Those are look pretty freaking stylish to me. Mmm, I like it. And then we have a couple different styles of crackers. So this is going to be a delicious little ensemble here. Oh, and we can't forget the best part of all, our aged cheddar. That's going to be going on our plate as well, so let's get this thing rolling. Okay, first thing we go on our coochie is our smoked fish. This is a very, very good flavored fish that I make. This one has a lot of brown sugar, some Worcestershire. Like I said, comment below if you want to see some smoking videos, because uh, that'll be a, a couple of the next videos that I put out for you guys then, is some, some of the videos where we go catch a salmon, and we make some of this delicious smoked salmon that any of you could make at home, whether or not you go buy the fish in the store, or if you actually get to go catch it yourself, if you're fortunate enough to live in a place and you can do that. So I got my two beautiful pieces of fish. Littles. Special boy. It's a treat for you. Mm. What I'm gonna do to make this a little easier on myself, I'm gonna take my knife and just cut right with the grain of this. And just cut myself up a little bit, a few chunks so that I can easily put that on a cracker, dude. Mm. I'll just melt in your mouth good. Okay, now for the cheese. So my first cheese that I have here is just a good cream cheese. Um, it's good to have a few different kind of cheeses if you're doing one of these shark coochie boards like this. I like to go with uh, like three or four different varieties, like a cream cheese, 
one that's maybe like a blue cheese or a brie, something that's a little skunkier flavored. And then I like to go with any kind of cheddar, or my favorite, very favorite is a, is a, a aged cheddar, which you can always tell the aged cheddar by the firmness of it. But the, an aged cheddar is one of my very favorite flavored cheeses, and it goes really, really well with fish, and especially smoked fish in my opinion. You can find some that are smoked even themselves and add a nice little flavor to that, that cracker. Uh, but I love a, a good aged cheddar more than any other kind of cheese. So I got my cream cheese, I got my aged cheddar here. Let's get this chopped up. And the best part about this aged cheddar is just its crumbly goodness. And see how the stuff will just kind of start to fall apart. I'm gonna go as thin as slices as possible. Nice and easy. Let's give this one a try. I've never had this one. Mmm. That's a beautiful part about an aged cheddar. It's very creamy. You have to melt in your mouth. It crumbles apart, but as soon as you bite it, it's not that like normal, almost like chewy cheese. It's very soft, very malleable, and has a really creamy and almost like a really aged type of flavor. It almost has like a, a tiny bit of skunkiness to it, which is a great flavor to go with fish. Oh yeah, he's there, he's there. He's there, eat it, keep going. Better tighten my drag. Back to the board. Anyways, it's cheddar's cool. So, slice a couple more little pieces of that. On the board we go. And presentation is everything when it comes to a shark coochie board, you guys. And the board really says it all. And uh, you guys have been seeing me use these. This is my brother-in-law's company. It's called Fine Roots Customs. And it's out of San Francisco. It makes a ton of different options of these cutting boards. Um, and you can find these on finerootscustoms.com. I can put a link down in the description. But go support my brother-in-law. And he makes some really, really neat cutting boards. And they're great for shark coochies. Works really well. Okay, along with the cheese, I'm gonna go a little bit of apple. Apples and cheese go really well together. I'm gonna do a couple nice slices. Another fish that we're gonna do here for our protein, and this is canned sturgeon. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ruin the surprise. This is actually what we're fishing for today is sturgeon. Look at the beauty of this meat though. Incredible color, great, great texture for something like this. I'm gonna take just a few pieces of this stuff. Give us a small little slice up here. Make a little more bite-sized pieces for on our crackers. Okay, now for all the fun stuff. I'm gonna go with some nice almonds. Right in my little dish here. We got our pickle scoop. Oh, that was close. Can't go wrong with some picks. And we have our tangerine. We have our tangerine olives. These look absolutely delicious. They have a nice spice to them. Maybe some cheese filled olives can be really, really good in a dish like this. Throw a few of those in here. A couple of Sicilian olives. These are my favorite. These with a little bit of cheese stuffed inside of them are next flipping level. Mm. And last but not least, a little bit of pepper jelly. And any kind of jelly works good for this or a jam. Um, I have a couple different, this one's homemade by my good friend Amanda. And this one is the ghost cream. This one's a lot spicier, so we're gonna go pretty mild on this one, but we're gonna use them both. So let's move over to couch, get comfy, start snacking. All right, it's time to munch, everybody. Let's find out what our best combo is. Using a good cracker is key here. Not using something like a, a wheat thin or a saltine or something plain Jane like that will go a long ways in a dish like this. You got a lot of super high quality things to eat here and you wanna make sure to keep that up by using some sort of good cracker. So these are like a multi-grain wheat cracker, really good, and these are little rice crackers. So having a couple different styles kind of set this dish off. So it's time to find out what best combo we have here. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna start with, with my go-to. I'm gonna go piece of aged cheddar. Pepper jelly. Maybe let's go half a slice of apple. And then let's go our fish right on top of that. Look at that presentation, everyone. 
There we go. So many different flavors. Mmm. Why not? Let's throw an almond on there. For those of you with ADHD, I think a shark coochie board really goes a long ways in uh, feeding your appetite and your mind and your belly because there is so much going on on this plate. Now, I want to see some comments from you fishy friends out there on what you think the best combo here would be. So drop that comment below on what the protein is that you'd put on there, the different kind of veggie you'd put on there, and what cheese you'd be putting on your cracker. Maybe we'll give it a try next time. Okay, combo number two on the way. Let's go cream cheese. A little bit of the spicy jelly this time. How about a piece of the pickled sturgeon? Maybe a pickle itself. Why not? And uh, heck, another piece of another piece of apple. Yeah, party. Now that one's good. The pickle going with that spice, as far as the pickled the, the pickled sturgeon and the pickles himself, with that little smoky spicy flavor is phenomenal. I'm gonna top it off with an olive. Mmm, I love a good snack plate. This is so good. It's so satisfying. So many good flavors and ingredients. And the beauty of it is, if I would have pickled my own olives or done some of my own pickles and stuff, almost everything here could have been provided by myself other than the cheese. So it feels good to be bringing your own meal to the table while you're fishing and trying to get yourself another one. So we got double cheese, salmon, pepper jelly, and an almond. Heck yeah. Mm. That might have been the best one yet. With the spicy yellow follow-up. Money. Oh, we're getting bit. We're getting bit. That's a real bite. That's a real bite out in the deep. Yep, you got it. Got him. Got him. I got him, everyone. Fish on. It can be done. You can get him sitting on the couch. Yeah, baby. Fish on. So what we're fishing for here, everybody, you're about to see is a white sturgeon. These things are a very prevalent fish in the Pacific Northwest. They're really hard to find a season to keep them, though. So you're allowed to catch and release them in this river, but we won't be keeping this fish today. But we're just doing this for fun and to prove a point. So you can chill on the couch all day and catch a fish. Yeah! <laughs> we can catch him sitting on the couch. <laughs> there he is, everyone. <laughs> Sturgeon! Okay, so we're gonna handle this thing really properly. These things have scoots, they're called, and they're these razor blades that are on their backs to protect them from predators. And the thing about these things, the sea lions eat them, uh, all kinds of different species of birds and stuff like that. So we're gonna be very careful in handling these things. These things are a really cool fish. And this species of fish has been around since the dinosaurs. So they're one of the oldest species of fish in the world. And they reside and are very resilient and get up to a hundred years old or so. And there it is, the sturgeon. Let it be proof. You can sit on the couch all day and catch you a fish. Such a cool looking fish. Stick him back in, make sure he's revived. Later, dude. <laughs> yes, my fishy friends, we did it.
almost lost the rod into the water. Everybody. That's a big one. Right when we least expected it. I was just about to wrap it up for the day. We fished all day, I fished really hard all day long, sitting on the couch and almost lost the fishing pole. Oh, it's a big fish. Oh, that's about an eight foot version, everybody. This thing is huge. Did you see that thing? It just jumped and almost hit those guys in the boat. Whoa. Come back, come back. Oh, broke it. Oh, <laughs> it almost had me spooled, everybody. I had to break them off. Oh, man. Thing had an epic jump. Oh, what a heartbreaker. Yep, broke my hook. I had no choice though. The only thing to do there was either break the hook off like that or lose every single bit of line on my reel. I didn't have time to really show you guys, but there was probably another 20 wraps back and forth of line on that reel. And we had not even gotten to the beginning of the fight with that thing. So unfortunately, the eight footer got away. Well, everybody, it has been a fantastic day. Just proving a theory that has gone on for years and years, and that is that you can't catch fish while you're sitting on the couch, because today, we sure did. I wanna thank you all so much again for being here with us today. You leave some comments below on what you thought of the Stay Fishy episode, and if you wanna see more fun ones just like this. I wanna thank you guys all again so much. So same time, next week, you guys all stay fishy. We'll see you out there.